Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin. Today we are playing some BitLife. As you can see, my choices last time nearly killed the entire royal family of Spain, so this time we're leaving it up to fate. I'm gonna start a new life. I'm gonna accept the random location they got put in, and their name can be Will No Free. It's uh, European. And of course, if you say their surname first, their name is No Free Will. Select your special talent. <laughs> I like this, how happy they are to have no special talent. All right, No Free, let's see what happens when I am not in control of your decisions. Well, I've got a friend already, that's a good start. Okay, I'm making lots of friends. <laughs> this never happens when I'm in control. Oh no, I'm attacking someone, oh sweet Jesus. So much for having friends. At least I get to pick the type of attack. I'm gonna roundhouse kick his groin. He died from his injury, so oh, sweet Jesus, the one thing I've input on, and I just killed a child. Do I get in trouble? Like, what happens to a six-year-old who's a murderer? Like, it's quite a strange summary of a year. I delivered a roundhouse kick to the bully's groin, and I cold cocked his yappa. He died from his injuries. Oh, also, I can now play hot quass buns on the Wakada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just getting away with it. I got no punishment whatsoever. <laughs> oh, no, there's another attack option. Surprise me. Oh, phew. Your friend Daniel has made you his enemy. Why? Why? Just because I killed someone? Hey, stop putting up your middle finger. That's inappropriate for someone our age. I know murder is too, but I'm not going to play a game of whataboutism for you. I'm extremely unhappy. <laughs> your friend Austin has unfriended you. Okay, I'm losing all of my friends. Turns out children don't like it when you murder other children. Your parents have divorced. Is that also my fault? Like, make the most of it. Make a Netflix movie about my life and how I killed that kid or something. Oh my God, my mother just bought me a car. How will I react? It surprised me. <laughs> Ask for a more expensive car. Oh, she got me a Lexus. It actually worked. Accept it gracefully or turn it down. Okay, surprise me. No, dude. <laughs> we could have had a free car. Am I going to university? Surprise me. Yes, I am going to university. My application to university was rejected. Okay. I can't just go up to them and be like, hey, the dice roll said I'm going. <laughs> that doesn't work, apparently. Oh, I have dry skin. What should I do? Ah, search the web, yeah. I have malnutrition. How the hell did you get to that from dry skin? Well, how will we treat this? We'll drink a smoothie. <laughs> Honestly, what doctor could do better than that? Now that you have a stepfather, you're wondering how to address him. What will you call him? Oh, surprise me. They're not that bad. Mr. Cooper, okay. It's a little bit formal. I imagine you say it sarcastically, because look at that little face he has on. He's really really snarky. Difficulty urinating. Oh god, what are we gonna do this time? Take some aspirin. Great. <laughs> Alright, let me get you into an activity and you can decide what you wanna do. Let's go to a club. A junkie offers you crack cocaine while you do. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, okay, yeah, I did that. You are now addicted to crack cocaine. <laughs> you see, this is what relying on dice does to you. Your friends are all joining YouTube. What will you do? Sign up for YouTube. Jesus, no hesitation there. He hesitated slightly more, deciding whether to start using crack cocaine. <laughs> Interview. While being interviewed for the exorcist position at Black Bull Community Church, you asked the following question. If we asked your friends which animal you would be, which would they choose? How will you respond? I am an ox. Okay, that, that worked for some reason. Your father's suffering from diarrhea. He's also suffering from being too open with me. Well, no, I am suffering from him being too open with me. I fecking died from a crack cocaine overdose. Sweet for Jesus, that actually somehow went worse than when I'm controlling it. He still had a murder. Yeah, he murdered a child, was depressed, got addicted to crack cocaine and overdosed. That's about as bad as it gets. No free will died unexpectedly at the early age of 24 after suffering an overdose. Friends agree account the time they saw him take crack cocaine. That's a little bit insensitive for the funeral. Can you not talk about anything else like when he kills the... You you know what? Yeah, talk about the crack cocaine. Let's try again, Will. What the hell is this? Year one, dad has been drinking all of mom's breast milk lately. Is this the same dad? Because he's really oversharing again. Great, I have whooping cough already. Oh no, don't attack. No, dude. I'm six again, this is bad. Uppercut his groin. He's a really tall six-year-old. Attack. He died from his injuries. Oh, Jesus, it's happening again. Okay, apparently the random dice wants to join a team. What would keep him out of trouble? The Magic Club, surely. He's also joining the Model UN Club. Okay, this already seems to be going a bit better. Oh, wait, I still killed someone. <laughs> but still better. Like, it wasn't hard to be better than last time, but still. It's nice to see him doing well. Your parents have divorced. Okay. Well, this could still be my fault because of the murder and whatnot. All right, are we going to university this time or are we just going to get a job? All right, we're 
looking for a job. And I'm not going for exorcist this time because last time I got that job and I immediately overdosed from the spooky ghosts, I would imagine, you know, they drove me to it. I'm going to look at becoming a pornography historian. Which of these Harry Potter characters do you relate to most? Is this relevant to the job? Neville Longbottom, that got me the job. I suppose given the job title, you had to pick the one with bottom in it, like Longbottom, you kinda had no choice. Oh God, stepfather again. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he looks a bit scary. What am I gonna call him? Bro, that works for me. All right, let's try and do an activity and let's not make it crack cocaine. Let's buy some subscribers and start a YouTube channel. I bought 5,000 subscribers, yay. Yo, the evil stepfather, or bro as I call him, is saying I don't have the same DNA as my mother. It surprised me, what am I gonna do? Attack, I kind of support this. I wonder if the stepfather can take a punch better than a six-year-old. Let's see, he died from his injuries. No, he cannot. Well, the difference between murdering when you're an adult and murdering when you're a child is surely I'll have to go to jail this time. No, apparently not. <laughs> How is he getting away with this? <laughs> Maybe they understand he has no free will and like it's not his fault. Your co-worker asks if you would like to try some laughing gas. Oh, that's surprised me. Yeah, what a surprise. <laughs> anyway, back to my YouTube channel now that I've been on laughing gas and killed my stepfather. Let's post a video about bit life. Wow, six views and s five new subscribers. That's not too bad. Only one person who watched the video decided, no, not for me. Speaking of which, could you do the same? Could every single person of you this please subscribe? I want to be as cool as No Free Will, the pornography historian who murders children. Oh god, she just asks to go to a puppet show and I'm gonna say surprise me, but one of the options is attack her and I don't think I can justify self-defense or anything. Yeah, it just goes right to attack her, come on! One of the options is tickle, but I feel like if they say attack, I've got to actually attack. I gotta go for it. Headbutt her skull. <laughs> she died from her injuries. Jesus Christ, he's like a supervillain. I, I've gone into HR and he's like, really? HR? <laughs> like, you murdered someone. Yes, HR. <laughs> More than HR. You should be going to DR, death row. But am I not going to jail? How does he keep getting away with this? Like, he's depressed, but he's free. <laughs> Nobody suspects the pornography historian. <laughs> but like, HR, no, I did it. And still, no jail time. I'm so confused. You've been released from your position as pornography historian for principal pictures. They say it's because everyone in the office got food poisoning from the food. <laughs> so wait, it had nothing to do with the murder? <laughs> I'm no longer suffering from depression. God knows how. Maybe it was, I feel invigorated after posing in the nude for a painting class at the community college because everything else is bad. Let's post another video. I'll get satisfaction from life from that. Whoa, these are going pretty well. Jesus Christ, what, what climate are we living in? Like we're in the UK, why do you have the, the ski wear on? They're completely insane. Yeah, ask him out on a date. My mother's suffering from constipation. What the hell is with this family and sharing every single detail? He already wants to break up. He says it's not you, it's him. Oh god, I really hope this doesn't end up with you getting murdered. Oh, wish him well. Oh, I had hovered over the attack for a second there and I got a bit scared. Oh, another pornography historian job with a better salary. Do we want this? Yes, we do. Good job. Like, you know, good job on getting the job, but also good job. <laughs> That's a nice one. Oh no, someone hanging out next to you at a Jason Derulo concert offers you 1,900 pounds to bring a parcel to Syria? Sure, we won't like Jason Derulo is one of the options, um, but surprise me. Ooh, okay, that would have 100% ended with his death. A hack got into your YouTube account and told the world that you've wet dreams about flowery Mayweather. You lost 96 subscribers. All right, surprise me. Oh, you just straight up delete the account. Okay. Apparently, he was very self-conscious about his crush on Floyd Mayweather. But he's very happy now that he's deleted YouTube. Interesting to know. While at the gym, you meet a guy named Clive. Okay, what are we gonna do? Ask him on a date. You are now dating Clive Crook. Let's immediately go to relationship counseling for no reason. He refused to go, I just met him. He's arguing with me now. Apologize, okay, Whew, that won't happen again. Your father's suffering from hemorrhoids. What is it with you, Graham? Oh no, I have a bad cough. All right, search the web. What? How did you get to cancer of the skin from the cough? All right, what do we do with that information? Go to the doctor, finally, a good choice. But which doctor do you want to go to? Dr. Wood. Die of hay fever. <laughs> 
<laughs> Imagine going to the doctor and like, I'm pretty sure I have cancer of the skin. And they're like, no, it's, it's hay fever. Pop an antihistamine, you'll be fine. <laughs> right, let's treat it. Oh, no, no, we'll, we'll pass. <laughs> we thought it was so bad that it might be cancer, but we're going to pass treating it. Your co-worker, Alan, has been spreading rumors at work that you slept with a boss for a raise. What will you do? Honestly, that's probably a good thing. It might make everyone forget about the murder I did in the office a few years back. Oh, we got an Instagram account now. Shall we post something on there? Or maybe we should buy some followers. That worked well last time. 5,000 followers. What a deal. I'm going to compliment Sandra Bullock. She didn't reply. Well, this Instagram thing is going terribly. Perhaps we should adopt the child instead. <laughs> oh, I have no house. Sorry. One second. Let me get a house. A mobile home. A dead end avenue. That should do it. Buy it with cash. And now adopt that unruly 12 year old. You adopted Rupert Burnley, a 12 year old boy whose single father was killed in a car crash. Jesus Christ. I don't know if my guy's up for this. Realize that the boyfriend Clive has been cheating on them. Oh God, what are we going to do? Forgive and forget, apparently. <laughs> I could have sworn you were going to attack them. You have weird responses. When someone does something really bad, you're like, nah. And if they do something minor, you murder them. Oh no, Graham died. I hope it wasn't his violent diarrhea or hemorrhoids or drinking breast milk that did him in. <laughs> Surprise me, what are we doing? Plan his funeral. Oh sweet Jesus, I hope we don't get him stuffed. That is a lot of money, but I'll leave it up to chance. No, 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 stop. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. I stuffed my father for 45,000 and I inherited 641,000. Your boyfriend Clive is suffering from constipation. Oh yeah, now all of a sudden you need the big box from me to cure your constipation. I got terminated from my job because apparently I need more time to focus on my depression. And that's what they told me. I didn't get to choose. I don't think you can fire someone for that. And the thing is, I didn't even have depression. It was when they fired me, then I got depressed. Okay, Rupert, I know you're doing very well since I adopted you. I have no idea how, but I have lots of money now and I don't really have time to take care of a child. So I'm abandoning you. Oh, Jesus, Clive is breaking up. What'll happen now? Wish him well. Okay. I like when it's just very sudden and it picks the right option. You know what we should do with this role? rolling dice strategy. We should go to the casino. 50 grand a hand. Deal them. I lost 51 grand. Okay, deal them again just so I can get the money back. Look at that. 21. I won. I'm on a roll now. I can't stop here. Let me bet uh, 100,000 and just take one victory and then leave. Okay, this isn't good. <laughs> oh, for feck's sake, they got 21. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, look, I'm, I'll just do that just to get a little bit of profit. Oh, shh. Okay, hit me. Oh, feck. I hate casinos. Why did I come here? All right, I blew a lot of money, but it's not too too late to, to enjoy the rest of it. Let's send them on a date. Find a date. They're completely insane. Yeah, ask them on a date. I died. What? From what? With Ebola? Since when did he have Ebola? His services were attended by his mother, his new boyfriend, and his four siblings. I feel like he was murdered. Like he just got that crazy boyfriend and then all of a sudden he died from Ebola. Will worked as a pornography historian for many years. Friends describe him as often a buffoon to individuals that crossed him. That's what you call him? Like, nah, he's a bit of a buffoon when he straight up murders people for no reason, just for slight disagreements. Oh, we could continue as his abandoned child. <laughs> Why, why do you cry like that? You're 18 years old. All right, he got all the money. Great. Let's head to the casino. Let's get back those losses, shall we? Deal them. Oh, shit. Okay, hit me. Okay, yeah, 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 19. That's good. Yes, good job. We'll leave forever now. I really didn't think that would go well. Whew, we did it. Rupert is a boss. Oh, no, I just got my money back. And it's like, hey, you want to go to a casino? Surprise me. Oh, that's probably for the best. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's doing a hookup. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no, it's all oh, he's in trouble, isn't he? Your father passed away. What? That wasn't your father, that was feckin' Clive. You hardly even met him. Why is it your responsibility to plan a funeral? Oh, skip it all together. Oh, wait, I got 166. Yes, he was your father. Yes, yes, very close. It's heartbreaking, really. What? The, the girlfriend has taken 600 pounds out of your retirement account and gone to take a nap in a bed at a furniture store. How? What? What? What kind of a day have you got up to? Apparently, that's my red line. I'm breaking up. I'm not sure which it was. The stealing or the sleeping on a bed. Because that is kind of weird. I think that would be a red line for me, too. How do I always get depressed when I leave things up to chance? Oh, no. The High Roller Casino is calling me. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, don't go. All right. Fine. Let's bet 10% of your net worth. Six. A 10. Okay, this is good. A 20. Okay, I'll stand. 
Oh my god, you're really good at the casino. <laughs> no, we're leaving. <laughs> that cured my depression. What do you know? Money does make you happy. Can't stop scratching your eyes because they're so itchy. You also can't stop sneezing. You see, to me it sounds like hay fever, but to you, you probably think you have cancer again, don't you? It doesn't bother me, apparently. Okay, no, him and his father are very different people. Oh no, while on your walk, you come across a grocery cart filled with what appears to be methamphetamine. What? I don't know if there's an option to consume all of it. I, of course it picks it. You consume the grocery cart full of me he's got how is he alive recently your sex drive has plummeted i wonder why oh he actually picked to go to the doctor he is the hay fever and diabetes but i guess we'll see if he wants to treat the hay fever it didn't work how he's still alive i have absolutely no idea oh no he's having another hookup because he's pretty reckless like don't use a condom as well jesus christ oh no we're attacking someone again <laughs> Now your father's influence is showing. You try to uppercut him but miss. That's probably for the best. Oh no, a stockbroker offers you some cocaine. Oh Jesus. Okay, he's going in. He's trying every drug. I don't know how he's not dead. Not to mention he keeps attacking people. All right, uppercut his groin. It missed. Ow. Oh no, he attacked you with a BB gun and shot your heel? That killed you? <laughs> I guess it was his Achilles heel then. <laughs> his funeral was attended by no one. Rupert never wanted a job. Instead, he could often be found going to the zoo. <laughs> I don't think he ever went to the zoo. Friends recount the time they saw him take cocaine. And that shopping cart of meth, don't forget that one. So in total, we got stupid, mediocre, and lazy. I really don't understand how you could describe his life as mediocre after all he did. Like, even looking at his gravestone. It says murders three, <laughs> but I guess we'll leave it there. Turns out leaving things up to fate is somehow worse than me being in control, which I didn't think would be possible. Uh, but we will end it there. I hope you enjoyed. Consider subscribing if you did. I post every single day. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye for now.